Is the king of Bitcoiners a fraud? Is the SEC going to label everything a security? And why are NFTs dumping like crazy? Is this a buying opportunity? If you're interested in all of these topics, keep watching. And if you enjoy these updates, hit the like button and hit subscribe because we put out videos every single day. This is Crypto Tips. My name is Heidi. You might also know my husband, Toby, who also contributes to this channel as well. We do daily videos. And if you want to know what we're doing with our cryptocurrencies and why, if you want to know NFTs that we're holding, if you want to know when we're taking profits, which altcoins we are accumulating now in preparation for the next bull run, you got to check out our CT club where we let you know what we are doing with our cryptocurrencies and why. A link for that is down below in the video description. So first of all, there's a lot of talk about how now the US is not discussing any outright bans of cryptocurrency, but what they are discussing, according to Janet Yellen, are strict regulations a rigid framework of regulations for cryptocurrencies. They want to know who's buying crypto, why, what you plan to do with it, where you're sending it, and they're going to go ahead and tell you which ones you will and will not be able to gain exposure to unless you know how to use a decentralized exchange and you use a wallet that you yourself control by having access to something called a private key. If you want to know what I'm talking about, Check out the links for all the videos down below in the video description. They're there to try to help you gain more understanding of how to take real control over your cryptocurrencies. If you're a US citizen, I think that's going to be increasingly more important if you want to participate in this cryptocurrency market as freely as you would like to. So they're not talking about an outright ban of crypto, but probably this, this regulatory framework, this rigid regulatory framework, framework that they're talking about they might as well ban it because what I just said, it's going to be suffocating, especially for anyone who's trying to build a cryptocurrency focused business uh, in the US. I think those are those days are long gone. I think there are far greener pastures. And I know Toby, again, agrees with me. The innovation of crypto is not going to be found in the US. And in addition to this, the SEC, Gary Gensler, our favorite guy, our favorite regulator who likes to not actually protect his investors, but actually just, you know, try to get as many paychecks as he can from legitimate cryptocurrency projects. Uh, he is again saying anything that isn't Bitcoin is a security or will be a security. <laughs> This guy is just showing time and again how much he doesn't understand about cryptocurrencies. There's quite a few cryptocurrencies that do not pass the Howey test, which is the only thing that he has working for him, which is a, a basically a test that was developed over, what, 80 years ago? Like so long ago uh, that cryptocurrency does not fit into that box. However, he wants, he wants it to. Uh, and so anyway, Michael Saylor, the new savior of Bitcoin. They never last too long. You know, the guys who are championing Bitcoin, the guys who are always looking for the spotlight of cryptocurrencies, they all fall under their own weight and ego. And Michael Saylor, I believe, is another one of those guys. And when he makes statements like this, I'm going to provide a link to the tweet down below in the video description. He's saying basically consensus is being built that uh, every crypto besides Bitcoin will be a security that makes Bitcoin, the only cryptocurrency workable as a global crypto payment solution, because he thinks that the US is the only country in the world. What a fraud. What have Bitcoiners turned into? I totally yeah. agree with it. There's a lot of comments, interesting replies to his tweet, and I totally agree with that sentiment, is that crypto is reliant on the US, I do not think so. And I think in the next five, 10 years, when innovation leaves and those fruits start becoming apparent uh, internationally, not in the US, I think the US is gonna change its tune real quick and Michael Saylor is gonna be awfully disappointed that his number one country, the US, is actually a succubus. It's a cancer and his government is bleeding its citizens dry of their exposure to freedom like cryptocurrency offers. Also, there's a lot of speculation lately about NFTs and that definitely, I believe, ties into this whole narrative of what's happening with the SEC 
and the US saying they're not banning, banning crypto, but they will be enforcing very tight regulations. NFTs, according to Gary Gensler, are securities. And perhaps this whale that has been dumping hundreds of NFTs at not much of a profit, I think they're doing so because they're scared of what they could be liable for. There might be a US citizen, um, might be tied to some other centralized entities, and they're trying to cut their losses now or maybe take profits what they think can. Just because you're a whale and you made some success sometime doesn't mean that you can call it every single time. Whales happen every day where they sell and they regret it, and this could very well be the case. NFTs classically out, have actually outperformed the last bull market. They've, been, they've done quite well uh, in this bear market as well. Uh, board apes have like 93% of Board Ape Yacht Club NFTs have not been traded at all in this year. Mutant Apes also over 90%. Uh, what other ones? Moonbirds, Oddities. Uh, a lot of a lot of popular NFTs are being held long term, and that is adding even more to their scarcity. This is not investment advice. It is something that Toby and I are going more and more into and exploring the options for what NFTs can grant. In fact, we just made a post today. So for those of you who are in the CT Club, be sure to check your email. Be sure to check out our CT Club post. For those of you who want to know what we've been up to, you got to check out the CT Club. A link for it is down below in the video description. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed, hit like and subscribe. See you tomorrow.